Bam! Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi, guys. Uh, it is Sunday, 5th of March. I'm going to do a short TA video, but it is kind of strange TA video. Um, it's all about the tweet that I just did, but I want you to understand why you should be doing this on this beautiful Sunday. Now, in my honest opinion, it's not financial advice, it's just my opinion. I'm going to talk about that um, by showing you these two beautiful charts. The first one will be, bam, over here. There. Beautiful chart. The average selling price of a residential property in the Netherlands from 1995 to 2021. The beautiful numbers are on the screen. Now, I'm going to talk about why we think that all being all in Bitcoin is the best way to go. Because we treat Bitcoin as a main capital. Like everything, all our holdings are in Bitcoin. It's our main capital. Do we spend euros? Yes. Do we spend Thai baht? Yes. Do we spend whatever currency we need in whatever country? Yes, we do exchange Bitcoin some days to Thai baht to spend now here in Thailand or to euro when we're in Europe or to US dollar if we would be in the United States or, you know, to the Mexican peso if we are in, in Mexico. But that doesn't mean that we trade all our Bitcoins to that currency. Our main capital, our main currency is Bitcoin. And sometimes we exchange it. Just like you with your US dollar going to Europe, you probably exchange your dollars to euros. Or if you go to Thailand, you probably exchange your dollars to Thai bet and you expand Thai bet. But we treat Bitcoin as a main capital. And because we did that, uh, our life only became more cheap. And I can see a lot of people, a shitload of people, only complaining nowadays on the uh, and on, on the social media. Everywhere I see people complaining. My life is getting more expensive. The groceries are getting more expensive. The houses are getting more expensive. The gas bills, I can't pay them anymore. They are too expensive. Everything is getting more expensive and expensive and expensive. The only reason why it's getting more expensive is because you're in euro and you're in dollar. You're in that currency that is being controlled by a central bank that is creating inflation. So your life will become more expensive. You become more poor and you have less power to uh, control whatever you want in your life. And that is why we are in Bitcoin. Just look at this chart. This is the chart because we sold our house. This I took this one as an example. Um, look, yes, here in 2011, um, a 10, I need to say, sorry, there, the Bitcoins uh, were like almost 600,000 Bitcoins for an average house of 239,000 US dollars. And yes, the houses, they became more expensive, way more expensive. Like you can see, they almost doubled. But in Bitcoins, uh, the houses only became cheaper. In Euros, yes, more expensive from 239 here to almost 400 over there. In Bitcoins, it was 600,000 Bitcoins to now almost only seven Bitcoins over there. No, we went all in here in 2016, 17. So at that point, it was about 200 Bitcoins for an average price of 300k uh, houses. But now I could buy back that house, even if that house became more expensive for seven Bitcoins. So our life became cheaper because we exchanged everything we owned into Bitcoin, held it in Bitcoin, and Bitcoin prices going up and down and up and down, but an average only going up. So everything we want to do now in a daily base is becoming more cheaper because we spend less Bitcoins every year. We took an average price, like in, 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 in the Bitcoin numbers, like for example, 2017, yes, we had a 20K price, but we also had an $800 price. So on average, it was like around 10K, something like that. So that's how we calculate it. But still, you can see the movement of spending less Bitcoins in houses. Now, that same movement, you can also see um, beautifully here in this image. In this image, guys, you can see uh, what is happening to your groceries. Yes, your groceries in 1998 for 20 bucks, you had a full card. And now in 2021, for 20 bucks, you only have the card. It's like almost em uh, empty. Yeah, uh, do look at the details. But, you know, I don't think that they should have put Trump there. I think they should have put Biden there because he's making this shit show, not Trump, in my opinion. But, you know, who am I? I don't even know anything about politics in the United States. But if you calculate the same in Bitcoin, yes. In 1998, Bitcoin didn't exist, but in 2012, for example, it did. Uh, and we got like a little bit of groceries. And in 2021, in a bull run top, we could buy that uh, Elon Musk monster truck uh, Tesla car for one Bitcoin. So yes, you can buy more and more and more for your Bitcoins instead of less and less and less for your dollars. So that is, in my opinion, bam, let's go back over here now to my bigger face here over there to the Bitcoin family. So that is, in my opinion, 
the thing that you should be understanding by now. If you would hold your capital in Bitcoin, life is getting cheaper every year. If you hold your capital in dollar or euro, life is getting more expensive every year. You can buy less with the same amount of dollars every year, less, less, less. In Bitcoin with the same amount of Bitcoins, every year you buy more, more, more. Now, I know that you're now thinking, yeah, but if Bitcoin crashes to zero, if they will make Bitcoin like illegal, then, uh, then all my capital is gone. I think the other way around. If you keep it for 10 years in your dollar account or your euro account and the inflation is 10% a year, it's also gone. Your whole buying power is gone. If the bank will collapse, it's also gone. And if countries have hyperinflation, it's like gone like bam in 60 seconds. Uh, there is always an if, if, if to something. But do you really believe Bitcoin is disappearing? Or do you see that countries are making an illegal tender and adopting it? And do you see billionaires and millionaires buying more and more Bitcoin and putting Bitcoin on the balance sheet of their companies because they understand the power of Bitcoin, because they understand it's the goal of the 21st century. That's what the billionaires are doing. They are moving their capital into store of values that keep their value. And that's not dollar and euro at the moment. That's destroying your capital. It's like inflation is killing you. Uh, you should be now hedging into these powerful tools like Bitcoin. Maybe you won't have gold. Maybe you want to defer to buy a little bit in real estate or something like that. But you saw it on the chart that, that Bitcoin is outperforming real estate like, like bam, like that. <laughs> that big so uh, that was everything for sunday guys i hope you really enjoyed this short video uh, i hope you're going to go all into bitcoin no financial advice i'm just a guy that is just talking about bitcoin and his experience of the last uh, seven years being all in and already binding in 2013 uh, for me this bitcoin peaceful revolution is going to continue for a couple of more decades and i don't believe that governments want to make it illegal i don't i, I believe that governments are adopting this technology and using this beautiful bitcoin as a store of value to protect the capital of their countries as well. So that's my opinion. But okay, no financial advice, just a, a thought on Beautiful Sunday. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about that chart? And what do you think about being all in Bitcoin? Or maybe 90% in Bitcoin, and then 10% in US dollar or euro for whatever you want to do every day and think that you do in a better way with dollar or euro. I don't know what you're thinking, but leave a comment down below on what you're thinking and what your thoughts are about this. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow again. Bam.